What's going on guys today with Fish Tank Monsters? We're going to go over how to raise your pH relatively uh, a lot less harsh chemicals and a more simpler, cheaper way on the way how I like to raise the pH in my tank. I have a nitrate reactor and I have a heavily stocked 220. My pH likes to drop. I also am a firm believer in don't chase the pH, but I mean, how low is too low, right? So whenever you see your fish swimming around, happy as can be, and then they take a nosedive and they start rubbing their sides on the decorations or on the gravel or on rocks or whatever the case may be, that's a pretty good indication that your pH threshold is lower than ideal for your lovely pets swimming. So there's a lot of tons and tons and tons of products out there. Uh, by no means am I a Seachem, uh, you know, representative or do I get paid by Seachem or, you know, am I given Seachem products? No, I wish that was the case, but it's not. I'm just a regular Joe Schmo and, uh, who absolutely loves keeping fish. So the way how I like to keep my pH within a reasonable check is uh, good old fashioned sodium bicarbonate, also known as pure baking soda. Stuff works awesome. Takes smells out of the tank, keeps the pH right, you know, seven, seven, two, six, eight, anywhere in between that, you know, range. If your fish are, like I said, swimming on the bottom and they're just dragging their bodies on the bottom, you can see that there's, you know, they're scratching at themselves. Usually it's not, um, you know, ick or anything like that. It's usually a pH issue. So good old fashioned Arm & Hammer baking soda and um, teaspoon about every 10 gallons I would say and uh, you know just don't dump it all in at once sprinkle it in I like to do about two or three teaspoons and then I wait about 15 minutes let everything kind of just you know level out or whatnot and then I test the water I test the pH it's quick and um, if it's not around that 6 8 to 7 2 range I'll add a little more and I'll just keep adding it slowly until I reach it now you can buy CCAM neutral regulator 7.0 and that stuff is like anywhere between 25 to 80 dollars judging on the amount you get pure baking soda I grabbed this huge box at Shaw's it was like five bucks and it's lasted me I mean, it was like probably like around four or five months ago. So just food for thought, you know, I like to give little tidbits of info here and there when I can, you can save some money. You know, the economy is like, you know, tanking. So wherever you can save a buck, I mean, you know, can't get criticized for that, right? <laughs> but anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped somebody. I'm gonna try and post more often, and uh, I just wanna drop some knowledge, you know? We're all in this thing together. So, um, you know, like, share, subscribe, and uh, have a good week. Don't forget to sprinkle that stuff in nice and slow and check the pH. All right, guys, stay tuned. Adios.